this week, Match of the Day leaves the First Division to have a look at the tremendous battle going on at the top of the Second Division. And two of the clubs engaged in the great battle for promotion, Bristol City and Manchester City. And Bristol City aiming to become only the second team in the history of the Football League to go right up from the third to the first in two consecutive seasons. Well, if they do it, then they'll have to get through the month of February with some starting results, because after this game, they have to visit both Huddersfield Town and Coventry. And they won't worry so much about those matches as they will about this one this afternoon, because all their best performances have been reserved for their away games. But if we have, first of all, a look at this Bristol City side. And those are the 11 Bristol City players that have put their team up into fifth position. The biggest team in the Football League, they're called, with an average height of 5 foot 11 and a quarter, an average weight of 12 stone 5 and a quarter pounds. So, quite a big lot. And one of the tallest men of the whole lot is their captain, John Attio, 6 foot 1, number 8, 6 foot 1 and 13 stone 3. John Attio, now 34 years of age, an English international. Well... Bristol City moving over now to the other city, Manchester City. Here are the players who put Manchester City top of the league. And Manchester City, a team brought together at the cost of quite a lot of money. One or two expensive players. And a man to watch this young, the inside left, who's formerly an outside left. He's the tallest player in their team. But another man to watch is their inside right, Johnny Crossan. A player, there he is, having a bit of trouble with the left boot. He was brought to Bristol City as a youngster, but there was some trouble with his registration, so he wasn't able to sign, and he came to Manchester City via Holland and Sunderland. Those, then, are the two teams, both Bristol City and Manchester City, at full strength, so this should be a great tussle, a most important tussle for both teams, so we're all set, then, for the match of the day, the second division match between... Bristol City and Manchester City, the two great promotion rivals. There the three of Bristol City inside forward, prepared for the kickoff by Mr. Jennings of Starbridge. The referee having checked his watch says, go ahead. And I don't think I've seen anything like this for a long time. But all the Manchester City forwards have... Oh no, Crossan's the only one with his shirt. No, he hasn't. He's got it out. All have their shirts outside their backs. Bristol City supporters have seen their club keep up with the leaders all this season. Now a chance for Young and a goal. And Young really cutting up this defence and Young has scored for Manchester City. Number 10, the inside left. Eight minutes gone. It is one goal to no down. Team hasn't given its supporters many goals to cheer in its home matches this season. This is the 13th home match. Bristol City has scored 14 goals and conceded 11, and winning four and drawing seven. Now, Peters... Tension, I think, telling more on Bristol City at the moment than on Manchester City. This is Ford, the right back. No, oh, no, much too optimistic. The referee is saying, OK, the substitute's coming on, and after ten minutes, Connor is coming off. Now, this is fantastic that... Okay, we're trying to lay it off. This is Savino, number seven. He's taking the corner for Bristol. Atio and Sear off the line with it. Shawl, Shawl to Ford. Three 
Drury. Vino, but Manchester covering well in defence. And Somerby looked offside then, but he's been waved on, and it's a corner. Bristol City so uncertain in a lot of things. Drury. That's his day. Centre forward, Derek. Get a foot. Semedo and it's Eslock's foot. Licking it away from him. Now forward. That was the most likely Bristol move. Atio was onside. The ball hit a Manchester City player. Foul to four. Derek. The cross comes Pardo to give away a corner for Manchester City. Team which has been brought up to take no risks in defence at all. The Savino. Is the corner for Bristol City. Well, Savino's got a chance to put it back again. And that's it. Huge inside left. Clark. 26 minutes gone. Clark, the scorer. So Bristol City are level. Hardly deserved to be level on the play. The goal that was scored then more by height and weight than anything else. Number eight crossing for Manchester City. This is Connor. The man with his stockings rolled down. Here is low. Starting shin pads complete. Atio. Well, Atio called in to Derek, told him what he was going to do. Young's shaping up to take it. Well, it's time for it to come across. And the whistle goes for half time. Bristol City 1, Manchester City 1. Manchester City lineup for the second half. Nobody is kidding anybody because the man with the ball at his feet is the man wearing number four, Mike Doyle. There, uh, centre forward has gone back to me. There he is, one of the two in the 4-2-4 formation. One goal each, remember, and Bristol City with a remarkable record. The last 15 league games, they've only lost one of them. One seven, drawn seven. Can't afford to do that against the team of Manchester City's class. So now he's young for Manchester City. Cross. Those in football say this is the hardest type of game to play. Fighting for points in the, at the top of the second division. Pardo, that seemed to hit someone at corner. <laughs> Cliff Sayre with the throw for Manchester City. Corner to Manchester City. Lights now on, of course. Oh, Clark's a hard man to push off it. He's got so much weight on his side. Here it is. 
Derry. A lovely one and a beautiful save by God, a lovely header from Fox. Oh, Doyle, surprising, the number of players not playing with shin guards. Oh, well, their fault of their hips or shins on Sunday morning. Connor. Connor to Young. Crossing. Doyle, or can Young try and do that one? As I head tennis between Doyle and Shaw. Here comes Kennedy, Manchester right back. That's a beauty! Now it's low to take the free kick. Yeah. Clark! And the corner appeal for not given. Derrick could only have been an inch away from that ball then. Still the rain driving down. Miserable afternoon now. Well taken by Derek. Drury. Doyle for Manchester City. This is Crossan. This is the man who could work the winning goal if anybody could. A point away from home, which I imagine will satisfy Manchester City, but another home point drop will not satisfy Bristol. We've only got 15 points out of 12 home games. And now it's a corner to Manchester City. Ten Bristol City men now back in their own penalty area as Summerby takes this corner. Now we're playing the time added on for injuries and... Almost the winning goal, the last dying second. If anyone's going to do anything, they've got to do it quickly. Now, Peters. He could be watching the last act... We have seen the last act. The game is over. One goal each. A good point for Manchester City, but for Bristol City. And that was a very good point for Manchester City. Well, they say any away point's a good point, but this one keeps them on top of the second division, which is where they want to remain. And with Coventry losing today, Huddersfield come up into second position. And Wolves are fourth and then Bristol City and Southampton are bracketed. So it's still as hot as ever at top of the uh, second division, but Manchester City still where they were this morning, right on top.